What's up guys? Welcome back to another video, another vlog. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better and I am ready to do some work. So we're in the garage obviously and today we're going to be working on something for the CRV. Uh, not installing it yet. I got to get it ready to install on the CRV. So uh, on the CRV Enthusiast Car Club group on Facebook, uh, a gentleman in Montreal, Quebec, was selling the OEM wings for the O2 to O6 CRV, and he was selling them for a really good price, a hundred bucks. Um, there was a gentleman here selling it for three hundred Canadian, but I had to drive about an hour to go get it, and I, I just didn't want to do that. So, for a hundred bucks plus shipping, which came up to like almost one fifty, he sent me a wing. The only downside is. The only three colors he had was charcoal, the champagne, and I want to say black. I'm going to say black or navy blue. I think it was navy blue. So as you guys can see in this box, we have the wing. So I chose the champagne one. I with the intent that I'm just going to paint it. I'm going to paint it silver, and it came in during my time of quarantine. So I, I, would, I was unable to do anything. Even if I, I didn't want to bother wet sanding, plus I didn't have the energy to do it. So now I'm up for it. I picked up the paint and clear coat yesterday. Uh, I was surprised that Canadian Tire actually had color matched uh, Honda colors and uh, high gloss clear coat. Normally I wouldn't trust it, but uh, you know, because I would just go to a paint supplier and get it mixed into a can and all that. But uh, David swears by it. And he's done a lot of projects on his car and Peter's car and all that. So it's worked out fantastic. So that's what we're going to do. I got the paint inside the house. because It's it's nice in the garage right now. I got the little heater going right there. If you guys can see, got the little heater going. Uh, so I'm, it's comfortable temperature in here. It's not cold. So I'm not worried about that. And then I'm going to Jimmy rig on my snap on light where there's a little heater there. I'm going to use some tie wire tie the wing after to elevate it I'm just gonna paint over the car's tarp so I'm not worried about overspray and then I can turn on the heater lamp and I can just bake it and just let it chill here after it's painted but we're gonna be sanding it all down I'm gonna take it out of the box right now so guys the thing I like about this gentleman from Quebec is he also gave me a paper with uh, instructions on how to mount it uh, it's never been mounted, that's the best part. Guys, look at this thing. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. Yep, yeah, it fell. Um, it's got the sponges, so all I'm gonna have to do is remove these two Phillips. Uh, I'm gonna mask around the sponge. I'm gonna keep the Phillips here uh, because I'm gonna use the Phillips over here on both sides to hang it off there and then tighten it up with the tie wire and yeah that'll be after that mask what I have to mask but we're gonna get down to wet sanding so I got some 600 grit sandpaper uh, I'm gonna submerge it in, in some warm water and then I got a spray bottle I just picked up at the Dollarama because I can't find my other spray bottle and we're gonna uh, you know wet sand it until the clear coat is no longer shiny on this clean it all up and then clean it with some uh, uh, rubbing alcohol, put some nice latex gloves because I don't want to get oil on it and have reactions and uh, go to town. Uh, I've never painted so, uh, a body part. I've painted valve covers and uh, small little miscellaneous things. I've never done a body a body part. Uh, I'm hoping for a good outcome. So uh, if I do something wrong in the comments, just let me know. But uh, let's hope for the best. And uh, I I've Googled how to do it like the, the steps the proper way David's given me some tips because he used to work at a body shop long ago so with all that I'm gonna be tackling uh, this wing so later on this week I can install it and also do the coilovers on the CRV because they are in and uh, then we're gonna jump to the exhaust because that's where we last left off got everything ready so guys let's kick this vlogging gear all right boys so Got me a little flathead. Start removing the third brake light. All 
All right, guys. So there you have it. We moved all the tire, the third brake light, LED brake light with uh, the wire. Uh, it's easily fished through here and ran out through there. So um, when the time comes, I'll put like a little fish, run it through here, tape the end to this, and pull it back, and bam, it will be like as if I never took it out. Got the piece of sandpaper in the, the water just soaking in. I'm gonna cover up the seats because I'm not gonna wet the seat, uh, but I am gonna leave it like that so I can just sand it down. So, as you guys can see, <clears throat> it's very dull. You have some spots like right there that there's still some clear. We still have to give it a, a little bit more of a wet sanding, but the majority of it, as you guys can see, is dull. Right there, it's got some clear. Some spots over here, it's got some clear. We got to make sure that there's no shine whatsoever. So that way, oh, sorry guys. So that way, the paint adheres to it. Um, before we paint, I'm going to leave it hanging over there heat, with the heat on, on it so that the, the wing is nice and warm so that the paint has something nice and warm to grab onto. But yeah, uh, making very, very good progress. Um, like I said, just going to keep going over where uh, it needs it and then wash it and get ready to go with the paint and clear. So very excited we can't wait to see this thing on the CRV guys all right guys I'm all done I brought it in I washed it yep I washed it and obviously because I was touching it with my hands you got some residue spots but I got the rubbing alcohol I'm gonna put some latex gloves as you guys can see uh, just so I don't put no more oil on it and then I'm gonna wipe it all down with the uh, rubbing alcohol I already cut the wire, we're going to feed it through there, hang it down, and, yeah, right there, sorry, hang it down, and let it warm up a touch, and then start uh, tackling it with some paint, so, here we go. Hey boys, I got it cleaned up as best as I can with the rubbing alcohol, uh, I'm going to, like, I, I'm nervous because I've never... Like I said, I've never painted body instrument parts like this. So I'm hoping I do a great job. But as you guys can see, I decided to hang it off the ladder. Uh, just left a little bit of paper there. Got the heater going. It's a good amount of heat actually over here, so it's not bad. And then I'm going to move that heater closer. More over here, so it's blasting heat this way afterwards to let it cure. But overall, it's not too bad inside the garage. So, yeah. I got the can of paint right here. Starlight Silver. See? Duplicates, original Honda colors. Well, uh, no trimming accessories, all right. So, I'm gonna be shaking it up. I'm gonna place you guys up and then uh, start hitting it.
right, guys. So I got the mask on because of all the overspray. Uh, I got about a coat, coat and a half on it. I made sure I covered everything so far from what I can see. There's no runs, but I can't help the dust. Like, there's a little dust particle right there. It is what it is um, for a budget paint. Uh, garage is usually never ideal spot to do it. I mean, the garage is fairly clean as it is. But um, nonetheless, it's, it's not bad. It's coming out pretty good. Uh, I got a nice even coat. All right, guys. So I already gave the final coat of paint. I have the clear coat with me in my pocket. I have it staying warm. I'm going to be shaking it. Uh, I got to give it 10 minutes before I can start applying clear coat onto it. Uh, I gave it even coats. Uh, the silver starting to look really good. It's kind of dark in this area because I don't have lights right on there. I should put like a strip of LED lights like how Chris did in his garage. And it helped illuminate his garage a lot. Even David did it on his too. It was amazing. So I should put a strip of light um, of LEDs over there. I'm, I might actually get to doing that. But uh, yeah, it took the paint very well. I got that heater going. Uh, it's giving really good amount of heat right now, thus far over here. Uh, I'm gonna move this one over here to a higher step afterwards. So it blasts the heat towards uh, the, the wing once we're done clear coating it and everything like that. And then I'm gonna let it sit, cure, for however long it needs to. Pick up the camera again and then check on it. And then hopefully this week, we can have it mounted on the CRV. Guys, if I did something wrong from the clips that you've seen, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments. I don't get upset. I've never really done a body panel. The most I've ever done was my engine bay with Mercer. And that was a whole other thing on its own. And, uh, you know, it, it came out all right. So um, I'm hoping I can replicate that with the wing. So that way I have the confidence to do it. Because I really want to do the hybrid folding mirrors on Ashy's EL and I found a set on eBay for a pair for a really good price but I need to paint them uh, I would have to primer them paint them and then clear coat them because they come with that uh, flat black surface the plastic black so if I can gain enough practice with this <coughs> I'll have the confidence to do it on the mirrors so with that being said um, I'm just killing some time playing some music and waiting it for it to dry a little bit just so we can start applying some clear 15 minutes later all right boys clear coat time guys so obviously I didn't record the third uh, the third coat I was on the phone with David and I was just spraying I lost track of time I was like oh man I gotta put the, the third coat uh, that's the fourth coat right now I've been doing light coats uh, I don't know how the camera's gonna pick it up uh, if it's starting to look shiny or not um, I mean I think it is that's how it's looking so far I mean, like, I got to put it in better lighting afterwards. And that's the only way we'll actually be able to tell if it's coming out really good. Um, so far, 
it looks like it's coming out pretty good uh, I'm doing my best not to have any runs so far fingers crossed it's, it's looking really good uh, it's just in a dull spot right now so um, you can't really see if it's really really shiny like from far off camera like I'm starting to see a bit of a shine on it and obviously the more you put the the more shine you'll get so uh, I'm probably gonna waste this whole can of clear because then eventually I'm gonna cut and polish it and the more clear you have the safer it is for the cut and polish so um, so far I feel like I'm doing a, a, a pretty good job as you guys can see all right guys so after six and a half almost seven coats um, I started nursing started spitting so I was like yeah I'm, I'm not gonna even give it no more because uh, it once the can starts to spit it's just gonna ruin everything so this is the outcome that I have thus far um, I don't know is it shiny to you guys I, I can see some shine um, now I gotta let it dry and cure I'm gonna let it dry out a bit uh, I'm gonna go inside kill some time and then I'm gonna unhook it from here and bring it into the furnace room of the of the house where it's really warm and let it just cure overnight there so next few hours I'm just gonna leave the heaters doing their thing and then uh, I'll move it in in the morning we'll check it out and we'll close off this video all right guys so it's the very next day um, I brought the wing in to the furnace room I, I, I hung it in the furnace room so it would help cure better uh, it came out phenomenal really happy with the way it came out uh, this clear coat though says a uh, high gloss hold on what does it say again let me let me quote exactly what it says durable high gloss finish so it has a little bit of gloss but not like what I was expecting it uh, you see it's kind of shine like a semi shine uh, so I'm gonna wet sand it and then polish it but I'm not gonna do it off the car because it's just, you know it's gonna be too small of an item and you know so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it the way it is it's clear coat it's got six and a half layers of clear coat on it like I kicked that crap on no runs whatsoever even on the paint um, and smooth feels good really 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 happy with the way it came out uh, I just think next time I should go with a better clear coat but it's gonna be good enough it's got to shine uh, some detailer will help it a hundred percent so that being said I gotta take out the two wires that I have hanging on there. I'm gonna fish one through to feed the wire for the third brake light so that way it's all back to the way it was and then I'm gonna put it back in the box, wrap it up so that way it's ready for the install uh, later on this week. And, well, later on this week for me, uh, probably another video ahead or two. But yeah, uh, really happy. Let me know what you guys uh, think in the comments, if you guys care to comment. Uh, nonetheless, very content. Came out phenomenal. It's gonna look good on the V, guys. Ooh, that back end with the coilovers, raise it up a little bit more and then in the summertime with the typees on it whoo but this daily is gonna be fire boys fire yo i'm looking at it like right here where the light's hitting it nice you got a nice shine so if i polish this thing out it's gonna be even better i'm super stoked guys this is gonna be a nice nice little oem plus look exactly what i'm looking for on the crv so i'm gonna go ahead now and take out all that wire feed through and then I'll show you guys with the light on and everything so give me a second so after good 15 minutes fighting with the fish which is a piece of metal to feed it through the hole to come out the other hole so I could grab the the wire for the third brake light and then tape it together and then pull it back out after 15 minutes of fighting it and then finally getting it with my magnet uh, my extended magnet uh, I was able to do it so just you know, trying to get the, the fish to turn, it wasn't turning, but I got it, it's good. And now we have a completed wing for the CRV with the third brake light. And guys, check that out. The silver with the brake light, yo, it looks amazing. Got it a little dirty because it was on top of the, the Spoonia Swan. 
Oh, I know I probably should be wiping it down, but it's okay. We're gonna cut and polish it. Uh, guys, I'm really happy with uh, the outcome. It's not champagne, it's silver. Um, it's gonna look phenomenal on the CRV. I can't wait to put it on this week or for you guys next week's video or the week after, whichever one, I, I'm not sure yet. But I'm excited, it's gonna look phenomenal and it's gonna give the CRV's back end that much needed oomph that it's so much needed. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I was nervous doing it, but I'm glad in the end I did it. it. Came out amazing, and it beat all my expectations. So, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, guys. Help the channel out. Share the videos. That's pretty much it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Share the videos, please. Peace.